Hi there, my name is Cam, and in today's video, we're going to step through how to set up multi-factor authentication in Salesforce Marketing Cloud. So here we can see my user, which is not currently MFA enrolled. Now, if we click on this user, we can see all the standard fields are there. However, we cannot see the MFA options. So before we can register a multi-factor method for this user, we need to enable the use of multi-factor authentication in this Salesforce Marketing Cloud instance. To do this, we can go to the security settings in the setup screen and click on multi-factor authentication. When the screen loads, we can see that multi-factor authentication is not currently enabled in this instance. So to enable it, we can click the edit button in the top left hand side of the screen and tick the enable multi-factor authentication option and then click save. Now the users in this instance will be able to register any of the MFA verification methods that were listed. However, the enrollment is not enforced. If you want to make MFA compulsory, then click the edit button once again and tick the require multi-factor authentication option. Now that we have MFA enabled, we can return to our user screen and click on our user once again. Here we can now see the multi-factor authentication registration section. For this example, I'm going to register for the MFA using the Google Authenticator which is a time-based one-time password or TOTP option. To begin the registration process, I can click on the blue register text for TOTP and then a new screen will load showing a QR code. Next, I can open the Google Authenticator app on my mobile device and click the plus symbol in the bottom right of the screen, selecting the scan a QR code option. Once I scan the code, a new entry will appear in my Authenticator app. I can now copy the six digit code in the Authenticator app into the Salesforce Marketing Cloud registration screen and then click connect. And that's it. You've now registered your account for MFA in Salesforce Marketing Cloud. Now, if you're getting stuck or you want some more information about multi-factor authentication in Marketing Cloud, then check the comments below where I've put some useful links. I hope this quick walkthrough has helped you get ready for MFA requirements in Salesforce. And if it has, then don't forget to drop a like and make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you can be notified when I release more Salesforce Marketing Cloud videos.